Rosemore. We're here today at Lake John, one of my favourite venues. Um, I love fishing here in the winter for the skimmers. Fish quite a lot of matches here and a couple of other venues which are similar. And uh, just wanted to talk a little bit about my approach. Today I've fed two lines at 12 and a half metres, one with ground bait and one with micros and expanders and a bit of milled pellet. And ground bait wise, what I've found is once the, the weather gets cold and has been cold for a while, I, I switch from my usual mix, which is sweet super blend and milled betaine pellets, obviously from Spotted Fin. I find that can be a bit rich, sort of once we get past Christmas, I turn to the dark super blend which is much lower feed content ground bait and it's less oily. And I found with this ground bait, I can put two or three balls in at the start and I can top up with it. Whereas if I use my sort of warmer weather mix and I do the same, I can sort of end up blowing my peg a little bit and, and sort of it slows down quite quickly. So I, there's a definite place in the range of ground baits for this mix. And that's really the reason for it. Once the fishing gets more difficult, and the water's been cold for quite a while, the fish just seem to prefer a low feed ground bait. Also the colour, the dark, is good for when the fishing's difficult. So today I've put three balls in on that line and a pot of loose, very sort of minimal particles in it, just a few micros, a few dead pinkies and maggots. Waited for the fish to come in, had a little run of fish, sort of getting a few liners and indications. Once the bites have slowed down, I've put in sort of every three fish, a little nugget like that. It's a tiny bit of bait, there's hardly anything in it, but it's just enough to bring the fish back. I'm sure what I've, I've put in at the start, a lot, a lot of it is still there, but this is just enough to entice them back onto it, nick two or three fish, goes a bit quiet, another little ball, and, and really that's how the session's progressed this morning. It's been, uh, it's really been really good. I've caught like 25 pound in sort of three hours, which is really good fishing for this time of year. And that's the sort of, basically, I just wanted to tell you, that's the reason for the, this ground bait in the range, why I use it and when I use it. So to mix the dark super blend is uh, simplicity itself, really. Kilo bag. I like this mix because I don't generally combine it with anything else. So one kilo straight out of the bag. One pint of water. Mix it up. It will look a bit over wet to start, but if you leave that 10 minutes, riddle it, that's it, done. For standard sort of fishing, feeder fishing and pole fishing, it'll be just the right consistency. One tip I can give you for feeding during the winter and the summer, to be fair, is if you're struggling and you've caught a few fish and, and they're not responding, is to take some ground bait and really over wet it. So it's like a wet paste really. So you can mix your pellets and maggots or worms, whatever you're using into that, and literally feed little soft balls like that. When it goes in, it will leave a plume through the water, a little bit of a cloud. And I think the fish like the consistency of it as well when it's on the bottom, but that little bit of cloud and the consistency of the ground bait in this way can attract skimmers when the fishing's really, really hard. So that's worth trying. If you remember that during a match or a pleasure session, if, you, if it's not really going how you want, give that a go and it'll probably catch you some extra fish, I would have thought. The other line I've fed is the pellet, the micro and expander, and a bit of milled micro and milled expander mixed as a sort of type of ground bait, really. What happens here is when the weather warms up slightly during the winter, the fish do switch onto pellets. So you've got to cover your options, really. Ground bait is my favorite approach and the one I find most consistent, but there are matches here where pellets is the best bait. So what I've done on my separate line is I've literally fed sort of less than a kinder pot's worth of, of micros with, with just a few expanders 
and then a nugget of the, of the milled pellets with a few micros in it and a few dead maggots. And I'll actually put a bit of loose over the top of that when I top it up and when I feed it. So that's literally what I've kicked that line off with, which is not a lot, but you've got to remember the milled pellet, that is a high feed sort of mix. So I've only put a minimal amount in. So like I say, some matches, the pellets will be the best bait. And you really have got to cover that option. Again, when you top it up, it will just be with a little nugget and, and you fish an expander or a dead maggot over the top. There's not too many nuisance fish in here, so you could fish maggots over the top if you want to. And so it's, an, an, you know, another simple approach, but on the day, one or the other will be better. And probably in different times of the match, you might find pellets come on towards the end. So it's worth covering. You've got plenty of space to have two lines. And, um, and that's, you know, often you can find the same depth and use the same rigs. So that's the pellet approach. So I've had a great few hours fishing here at Lake John, as usual, to be fair, it's always good. Just goes to show if you get your ground bait mix right and uh, your tactics to fish the two lines and be a bit patient, you can have some great sport, even though it's January. So we're going to slip these uh, beauties back and uh, that's it for today.